And the subject today of this presentation is uh, a case study about a project uh, run by Octo uh, for a major European uh, health insurance uh, company. And uh, the purpose of this project is um, to run uh, for the chief marketing officer uh, a new approach of the prediction models about uh, health claims based on uh, new data sources. You know probably this, uh, this success story, uh, for example, for Ed American hedge funds, uh, we're tracking uh, the, the stock moves, uh, mainly the Dow Jones index, uh, using uh, Twitter data as a representation of the consumption market. And um, the, result, uh, the result of this, uh, of this new approach uh, using uh, signals from the internet uh, to predict uh, financial facts are really new. One other uh, interesting um, use case or, or success story is uh, the Google flu uh, project uh, looking for correlation between the flu spreads and, uh, and the, 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 the terms uh, searching in internet on, on Google. And the bottom line of this two su success story is uh, the fact as Intel is now a new data source, an uh, unstructured data source, and as a representation of the voice of the people. And uh, it's very interesting because uh, we can uh, analyze signals uh, before the fact, uh, the financial fact or the medical facts from the signal uh, from internet. And we use this bottom line uh, to, to, to process uh, our new predictive model. And uh, finally, in Ilskur, uh, one, uh, one point is very interesting because uh, internet is now the second source of information for people about uh, diagnostic, illness, uh, drugs, symptoms, and medical advice. And uh, just after uh, medical, uh, medical doctors and, uh, of course, uh, the, the professional of, of, uh, of the Ilskur. And uh, one point to, to, to keep in mind is uh, that the main source are not the new modern uh, social network or, or social uh, internet, but the old school forums uh, and uh, Q&A uh, Q seats. And uh, we are very interested because uh, their, their source uh, have a strong history of data uh, from many years and we can analyze uh, the question and the subject of interest of people uh, through uh, many years uh, over the time. And the benefits for insurance company or the objective for insurance company is uh, the first point is to understand, uh, to, to develop a better understanding of the subject of interest of, uh, of the customer and uh, of course of the patient and to, to, to drive their marketing actions uh, directly to this uh, subject inter of interest and not, uh, not uh, through the, um, the, the classical uh, communication way. The second point is uh, to anticipate the psychosocial effect uh, of internet uh, to prevent uh, excessive consultation and of course reimbursement. Um, the fact is uh, when people are close to you are uh, talking about uh, flu or, or medical troubles, uh, statistically you are more uh, in uh, conscient of, uh, of to process a consultation to, 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 to doctors. And uh, this is a psychosocial effect of, uh, of internet on healthcare. And the last point is to predict, of course, the claims uh, while monitoring, in fact, uh, the, the request on, uh, on internet about drug symptoms and uh, illness to, uh, to, to drive a new predictive model to predict the financial claims uh, on, uh, on healthcare. So the question is how to run this predictive analysis uh, with uh, this uh, new uh, data source. And to do that, we have to solve, uh, in fact, uh, three different data problems. So for the first of one is to understand the semantic field of healthcare uh, used by the, the people on internet with the problem of uh, autograph, uh, grammar, and uh, their, their understanding of, uh, of the, the healthcare and uh, to automatically, automatically uh, process uh, the data from internet to, uh, to give uh, um, a tag or uh, knowledge about uh, the, the, the message. The second problem is, um, is in fact, to find, to find correlations between the evolution of claims, of course, and uh, many uh, millions of uh, external variables like search, 
uh, or uh, like uh, keywords on uh, forums uh, and, uh, for example, uh, social, uh, social economical factors like uh, unemployment and, uh, and GDP. And the, the last one is, uh, of course, uh, uh, to find not only correlated variables at the same time, but with a, with a lag to anticipate uh, the claims and uh, to allow to drive new marketing action to, uh, to try to prevent uh, the consultation and, uh, and the claims. So, of course, uh, we, we have to process uh, many of million of time series of data and we can do that manually. Uh, we have to, 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 to develop uh, machine learning techniques to process it automatically and uh, to, to learn uh, and, in fact, to discover, it, to discover learnings from, uh, from, uh, from this data. Um, the system is based on, uh, on this approach. Uh, we, we collect data from, uh, from a forum and uh, we automatically uh, extract a semantic tag of uh, Ilskir from the data and uh, we obtain uh, trends of medical keywords in timeline uh, used in fact in forum. We collect uh, a list, a, a huge list of uh, 100,000 of thousand keywords uh, from uh, Google Trends, uh, representing the, the query and the search of people about uh, symptoms and, uh, and drugs uh, over the internet. And uh, we collect data from uh, open data, the French open data uh, portal, uh, data.gov.fr, uh, about uh, socio-economical uh, variables like unemployment, uh, GDP, uh, consumption index, and, uh, and uh, many others. And we, we try to correlate with uh, the health claims uh, by uh, medical uh, act and for example, uh, medical co uh, consultation, uh, drugstore, uh, reimbursement, and uh, we try to find uh, from these uh, this timelines uh, which other timelines from the, the, the upstairs data source uh, are uh, correlated uh, to uh, the health claims. And uh, we uh, run an analysis of the coefficient of determination uh, and the uh, lagged uh, coefficient of determination because each uh, time series uh, in input is uh, lagged months by months, months to, uh, to find a new correlation in, um, in the data source and uh, to, uh, to detect uh, anticipation in, uh, in the data source. Uh, the coefficient of determination is, uh, is an indicator of the goodness of, uh, of the fit of the underlying model of the machine learning techniques. And uh, analyzing this coefficient is very useful because we can uh, track immediately if uh, the model uh, is useful or not to predict uh, the data or not. So the, the, the one major problem of, of this project is to, in fact, to understand the semantic field of healthcare because uh, we don't have a, a, a semantic, uh, medical semantic uh, dictionary in French uh, currently, and we, ha we have to build it to, uh, to process the message uh, and uh, to extract uh, keyword timelines. So uh, the methodology is the, is the following. following, following. Uh, we tokenize uh, the message by date, for a message, we, we split uh, each, uh, each word uh, and uh, we, uh, we, we store the date of appearing the, this word. And uh, after that, we stem the, the root of the word to extract uh, the Latin root of, of the word. And uh, we filter uh, this word against a, a common words dictionary uh, to eliminate, uh, for example, uh, I, the, uh, in, uh, etc., etc. And the last operation is a uh, medical tagging uh, to uh, extract uh, medical words in the message and uh, to, uh, to filter the, the message uh, to keep only the medical words. Currently, we use uh, uh, an API uh, named NLTK. Um, NLTK is in a Python API uh, on, uh, on natural text processing available in different languages, uh, for example, French, uh, Spanish, English, uh, German, of course. And the question uh, to, to build our timelines of healthcare, we need to, to, to build uh, um, 
uh, ill scare words dictionary. And uh, the first solution was to, to read automatically uh, medical uh, books and uh, online books to, to build the dictionary, but it's not very efficient because um, the patient or the people over the internet don't use really uh, medical terms. Uh, they interpret, uh, in fact, uh, the, the, the symptoms and terms to, uh, to, to describe uh, the, the, the symptoms, and they don't use really medical terms. So we have to build uh, a medical dictionary from the perspective of the uh, people uh, from Internet. So, uh, in terms of methodology, we, we build the first, uh, first list of, of keywords manually, uh, based on interviews, and uh, we enrich this list with uh, highly searched keywords from uh, Google uh, AdWords and the, key, the keyword generator from, uh, from Google Ads, and uh, to build a, a more complete uh, keyword list. And after that, as a, a human, uh, we read uh, an encyclopedia um, from Wikipedia and we learn automatically a new terms from the medical categories uh, from uh, Wikipedia to enrich uh, one more time uh, the, the, the dictionary. And so we obtain a, a Nilsker semantic field based of the, of the perspective of internet of uh, medical terms and uh, we use it to tag, uh, to tag the message uh, to extract uh, medical terms. So uh, to find the correlations between time series and millions of time series, uh, we, we have to, we use in fact uh, a regression system uh, with a super vector regression algorithm. Uh, the system is trying to, to, to find a solution to um, to, uh, to an equation uh, minimizing the error of uh, two, uh, of two, two, uh, two functions. And uh, the technique is using a stochastic uh, gradient descendant to, uh, to resolve uh, the equation. And uh, we test the response of the model, of the goodness of the, of the, of the fit through the uh, coefficient of determination. And for each uh, keyword timelines, uh, we, process, we lag the timelines uh, from one month uh, until uh, 12 months, in fact, to have uh, the vision of uh, one year. And uh, we, uh, we regress uh, the claims uh, against uh, this, uh, these timelines. So, uh, to do that, uh, we use a scikit-learn. Uh, one more time, it's a Python library uh, with um, a lot of machine learning uh, algorithms. Uh, and the problem, the second problem is about data because the collected data and uh, the collected data from internet are not really so huge. It's around uh, gigabytes or many, many gigabytes. And uh, it's not a problem to, to run data aggregation like the select group by because uh, the volume of data is decreasing. The problem is for the correlation, correlation search because um, each search is generating 12 lags, 12 time series lagged, and uh, we test combination of uh, keyword series and uh, regenerate a lot of a lot of detailed data to process to process the data. In fact, the processing is more generating more data than the data collected um, read. So uh, to divide the, the time processing and uh, to fit uh, our uh, computers, uh, we have to, to, to run a parallel computing approach uh, to, uh, to run especially as this uh, correlation search. In terms of platform, we have uh, many IT drivers because uh, the project is a research and development project for, uh, for, for the company and uh, we have uh, to, uh, to, to match two uh, major IT drivers. The first of one is 
uh, elasticity of the IT infrastructure to process small data aggregation and very large uh, computing, uh, for example, for the correlation search. And uh, so uh, we need uh, IO elasticity, CPU elasticity, and uh, memory elasticity uh, to, to process the data. The second point is very important because um, it's a research and development project and uh, we have to, uh, to decrease at, uh, at the lower level, the lowest level, sorry, the CAPEX and the OPEX of the project uh, to, uh, to keep our uh, the, the money of, of, the, of the project uh, as, uh, as um, the more uh, light as possible. And so you, we use, of course, commodity hardware, uh, open source software, and uh, we try to have a real uh, cost elasticity. For, that means um, when we run a, a process or a, a computational process, uh, we want that the cost of the process is very fitted to the requirement of IT capabilities of the, for the process. So in terms of, of solution, we, we choose um, Amazon Elastic MapReduce uh, mainly for the capability of elasticity as uh, an Adobe system, uh, but with uh, the cost elasticity because we can, for one job, you can uh, instantiate only what you need in terms of, uh, of, uh, of hardware and uh, of uh, processing capabilities in terms of memory, CPU, and uh, IOPS. So uh, we, we started on, uh, on uh, Elastic MapReduce uh, mainly because uh, computational uh, about uh, the correlation search are very, uh, very important, and uh, it's a major, it's a major processing uh, unit uh, in our system. So, uh, one one word about uh, Elastic MapReduce. Elastic MapReduce is, is built as an Adobe system. Uh, in fact, uh, the distributed storage are uh, are run by the core instance. Uh, the core instance and the uh, common processing uh, unit are run on this instance. It's a very interesting for us because uh, we, we can add task instance processing without storage on this instance to have more CPU on, uh, on the architecture. And when you, we run a job flow on uh, Elastic Reuse, we can uh, adjust uh, the, the number of CPU uh, in, the, in the process, and uh, we can uh, have a cost elasticity on, uh, directly on the job uh, through the task instance group. In terms of components, uh, we use massively, of course, uh, HDFS as a storage. Um, MapReduce to organize the, 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 the parallel processing. And uh, PIG as a, a transformation a component, as in fact, as an ETL, and uh, to process uh, the raw data and uh, to, uh, to build a new format for the data. We use, in fact, in HDFS, um, a, a particular format based on key value uh, with a, a key and a, a JSON value to process the data because time series are very difficult to uh, represent as a relation, uh, relation model. And uh, this is why we don't use uh, Hive uh, to, uh, to query the system, but uh, we use uh, directly a custom app uh, developed in uh, Python and Django with uh, a lot of uh, JavaScript and jQuery uh, to, uh, to render uh, the, the data. And uh, all the, um, the process are running uh, through uh, Adobe Streaming with uh, Python uh, programs. And uh, these Python programs use uh, NLTK uh, library for natural language processing and uh, sci, sci -kit learn to, uh, to process and to run uh, the uh, support vector regressions. In terms of uh, RT infrastructure, so um, mainly the data is stored uh, as a raw data uh, in uh, S3 from uh, Amazon. And uh, the data are, 
are copied to uh, to the core instance for to, to run the process, uh, the, the, the computational process. And for specific uh, correlation search and uh, high, high load or high workload uh, process, uh, we load uh, one to four uh, large uh, task instances to, uh, to, to, uh, to increase the, the memory capability and the CPU capability. The detail of, uh, of each, uh, each uh, computational process is stored in uh, S3, uh, but uh, some, some details are uh, imported uh, in Redis to have a random access uh, to the data uh, to allow for the data viz application to uh, drill down uh, from the, the, the large amount of data to a unique uh, time series, for example. Uh, the data viz application is custom app, uh, as I said, on, on Python, and uh, it's very useful because uh, we, we use um, iCharts.js uh, to render the basic representation of, of data like uh, pie chart or, or timeline, and, uh, sorry, d3.js uh, for the more advanced uh, representation of, of data like a workload and a dynamic map. Uh, of, uh, of the correlation uh, matrix. In terms of, uh, of peak job, uh, it's very useful uh, for, for transformation because uh, it's like uh, an easy ETL uh, because uh, we, we load uh, the data from a single instruction and uh, we define a primary structure of the, for the data. And, uh, to manipulate uh, and to group by uh, the, the, the data is very, very easy, easy to transform it and uh, to, to generate a new file uh, with the aggregation. Uh, Adobe Streaming is very uh, a key component for us because uh, we have a lot of um, a lot of uh, Python uh, programs and, uh, and scripts and mainly our API are in Python and uh, it's very useful to, to, to organize uh, uh, the job as a MapReduce uh, directly in Python and test it on uh, locally uh, with, uh, with uh, the Python uh, I environment development. And um, Elastic MapReduce gives the power to, to process uh, more and more data and the, 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 the whole of the data set. Um, in terms of, uh, of uh, of Python and Mapper program, it's very easy um, because uh, we, we, we use, in fact, uh, the uh, standard input and standard output uh, of, uh, of the system uh, through uh, Hadoop uh, to, uh, to communicate the data. And uh, Pit Python is, uh, is very useful to, to process it. For example, uh, it's a, a stem count uh, system and uh, by date and uh, the, the unique point or difficult point of attention is uh, the, um, the deployment of uh, the NLT key uh, library uh, because uh, you have to process it in the bootstrap phase of Elastic Job, Elastic MapReduce Job, uh, to uh, deploy it on the, the, the instance stack and uh, to, to, to give the infrastructure in terms of uh, API on uh, each, uh, each node. For example, for the, the reducer, it's, uh, it's very, uh, it's very uh, simple too uh, because uh, we have to process uh, the uh, standard input uh, from uh, Hadoop and uh, read each line and, uh, for example, uh, calculate the, the frequency distribution of, uh, of, the, of the data uh, directly and we have to, to just to print uh, or key uh, and uh, the JSON object uh, in, the, in the text file and uh, we can process it uh, easily. In terms of conclusion of, uh, on our works, um, today the correlation, the correlation search identifies um, 400 variables created with a coefficient of determination uh, greater than 80% uh, and uh, a lag uh, greater than one month with a, a, a large focus with a, on the, a lag of five months. And uh, we are 
adjusting this uh, this uh, this collection model and uh, the edge variables to uh, to, uh, to 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 find a better lagged uh, correlation with uh, uh, with uh, uh, the the greatest uh, coefficient of determination. Elastic MapRedis is very useful for us because uh, the cost elasticity is very interesting for for our, the morphology of, uh, of our jobs uh, because, uh, for example, uh, in the summer, uh, uh, the monthly cost is, uh, is very low. Uh, and uh, when we run intensive process uh, on, the, on the cluster, uh, it's not really so big. And uh, regarding uh, the cost of an equivalent platform, where while uh, buying uh, the, the, the computers, uh, it's very, very interesting uh, in terms of price because uh, 100, uh, 1,000 uh, euros uh, per month is, uh, it's, uh, it's like uh, 50 months of research and development in terms of, uh, term of cost. Um, the, the problem of the, uh, the S3 transfer uh, between um, S3 and uh, HDFS is not really a problem because uh, the volume of storage data is not so big and uh, the bootstrap phase of the, of the job flow is uh, enough efficient to, uh, to, to copy the data from uh, S3 to HDFS. Uh, one point of attention uh, in the correlation search um, not all of the CPU are used. Uh, in fact, in the in the in the in the job, uh, the parallelism factor is uh, on, is uh, lower than an uh, SMP arch architecture or an HPC archi classical HPC ar architecture, uh, because uh, the allocation the alloc allocation of uh, tasks in uh, in Hadoop uh, are not very if so efficient for uh, embarrassingly parallel uh, problems. So in terms of future works, uh, of course, uh, we have to increase the number of data sources to uh, mitigate uh, the overweight of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of the source uh, collected uh, right now. And uh, we have to, to test and to increase the robustness of, uh, of the predict model over the time because we have a lot of uh, correlated variables and the volatility of these variables of the coefficient of determination is, uh, is, uh, is still high and uh, we, uh, we have to, to reduce uh, the overfitting of, uh, of, the, of this model to, uh, to, to build a more sustainable um, predictive mod models. Uh, in terms of correlation search, uh, today we uh, try combination, combination in, in, uh, in the keywords, but we don't try combination, for example, uh, one keyword with um, unemployment or uh, other uh, source of information. And uh, mainly it's interesting uh, to, to develop this uh, uh, cross-source uh, combination to uh, to develop a more uh, a more interesting vision of uh, of the correlation search. In terms of IT, uh, we plan to switch uh, the correlation search uh, on uh, Elastic Map Reviews to uh, an HPC architecture uh, as a cluster of Node uh, to improve the parallelism factor of the process. And uh, we are. Uh, we, we are looking for uh, more deeply on Stanford Phoenix uh, MapReduce engine uh, and uh, the Nokia Disco, Disco engine uh, because Nokia is in, in Python and it's, it's very interesting. Uh, the second point, of course, is, is to industrialize the data mining components uh, of the platform uh, to, to, to obtain a generalization of, uh, on uh, yard insurance, uh, for example, on uh, savings uh, and uh, and for example for uh, e-commerce and uh, telecoms activity. So uh, one word about Octo. Octo is not a software vendor. We are a consulting company uh, with uh, strong IT skills, uh, especially on in uh, grid computing and HPC uh, system. And uh, right now, effectively on on Hadoop. Uh, and uh, we have a dual approach on, uh, on, the, on the problem, uh, a business approach 
of, uh, of uh, big data and the IT approach of big data to, uh, to solve the problem globally and not uh, only uh, from a, a unique perspective. Uh, Octo has a different office uh, around the world, uh, mainly in Europe and uh, one in Brazil, uh, and uh, a vertical organization on financial industry, of course, and other industries. It was short to allow uh, discussion and comments. Uh, Can you explain a little bit more why Disco should be a good fit for you, for your, uh, for your needs? Because you are using now uh, Amazon. Uh, yeah. what, what Disco can, uh, can bring to the table that Amazon is not uh, providing right now? For, for regarding Hadoop or regarding... Uh, is this yeah, map, map reduce. Yes, map reduce. Because, oh, so. Uh, we have to process data aggregation, and MapReduce is a useful model to aggregate data, like group by, and we have to run embarrassingly parallel um, process, uh, for example, for the correlation search. And uh, we use only the map of the MapReduce uh, framework to uh, organize uh, the process of the uh, of uh, correlation search. And uh, in fact, we have uh, to combine uh, the requirements of that uh, RDBMS, uh, like select group by, and uh, parallel computing uh, like uh, HPC or uh, MPI. And MapReduce allowed uh, to do the, the, the two kinds of, of job, and uh, it was interesting to, uh, to, to run on, uh, on MapReduce. Amazon is interesting because in terms of cost elasticity, and for us it's very interesting because uh, we use it as a platform, as a service, and we don't have to uh, build platform, uh, IT platform uh, on Hadoop, and uh, it's uh, very useful because it's a research and development project and you have to, to run it quickly to, to find uh, interesting things and uh, the purpose is not to build an IT infrastructure and uh, to deliver an IT platform. The, the problem is really to find uh, something in the data and not uh, to, uh, to deliver an IT project. Yeah, I mean, Disco, it's bringing something uh, uh, different. I, I, I don't get uh, the point on using Disco. I mean, uh, uh, well, Disco, well, yeah. may, may, maybe we can, we can talk. Uh, uh, later on, no, don't worry. As you want. <laughs> in Disco, it's interesting because the architecture is different. It's not. It's a MapReduce uh, framework, but is focused on using a core, uh, the physical core of a grid of core, and not uh, to process uh, to process uh, MapReduce through the Hadoop architecture. And uh, this is why it's interesting for us. And the Stanford Phoenix is interesting too because uh, because. Uh, uh, Phoenix is very uh, designed for a cluster of core. Okay, thank you. Anybody? All right, so thank you very much. Thanks very much.